Welcome back. This is going to be Masterclass Week 3 edition. And uh, what we're going to be talking about today is we have those title blocks. Now let's make a template. All right, so <clears throat> a template is made up of a few different things. Uh, first of all, you have to have your title block. Now, uh, if you drew the title block, that's awesome. If you didn't, look at the week, uh, look at Masterclass Week 2. And uh, one of the assignments, part of that class was to draw a title block. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a title block into my drawing now. Um, so I'm going to go into Layout tab here, and uh, I'm going to actually erase out this viewport here. So when you go into Layout tab, you have this viewport here by default. I'm going to erase it out. Um, don't worry, we can always get it back later. Um, so I'm going to insert a drawing now, and uh, let's go find my title block. Now, I have a few title blocks. They're going to be a bit different than yours. Uh, but again, don't fret. It's all the same stuff. Uh, I'm just going to be using one of my own. Um, if you use the one from the other class, it's the exact same thing. It just looks a little different. So um, I'm going to use my 24 by 36 title block here. Um, and if you notice, I don't have any of these checked. Um, I'm going to let it come in. And since I know it's going to be coming perfect, it's probably going to come in right at this corner here. Um, so let's hit OK. <clears throat> now, like I said, it came in in that corner. Now, if it doesn't come in that corner for you, if you hit the Z, Enter, E, Enter key, you should be able to find your title block. Yes, it may be outside of this thing, um, but let's not worry about that right now. All right, so this is your title block. Um, all templates usually have a title block in it. The other thing a good template has is its units set up correctly. Now, when I type in units here, and I obviously typed in the wrong thing, so let me do this again here, units. Um, if you notice, mine are set to decimal. Now, if you're gonna be working primarily as an architect, you might want yours set to be architectural, meaning you're gonna be using feet and inches. Um, I use decimal feet, so if you notice, I usually change mine to these settings here, um, and I always use my insertion scale, and I usually hit continue this warning box um, to unit list, and this way it doesn't do any funny math for me and tries to do things I don't necessarily want it to do. Um, one other thing you may be noticing, and you might be like, oh, what's wrong with your title block? I'm using uh, Sheet Set and Manager here, so I can print multiple sheets at once without even having to open up any of the sheets. I can revise anything on this title block and instantly print. So, um, And that's in the Sheet Set and Manager videos, which you'll find already on this channel. All right, so we have that. The other thing any good uh, uh, template has is units set up correctly also. And uh, the other thing we have to do is go to Layer Properties here and get some layers in here. Um, so by default, um, I have some layers already in here. So these all came with these title block here. Um, one's called revisions, blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's create some new ones here. Um, I'm gonna create one called object. And uh, I'm gonna make that on magenta. And uh, let's create a few new, more, few new layers here. This one's gonna be called dims. And uh, dims is gonna be on cyan. And I'm gonna create another one here called, uh, what did we call it? We'll call text. And again, try to keep it all consistent. If it's all caps, keep it all caps. Right now, mine is not consistent, so um, I would understand if you uh, went going crazy right now, because this would drive me nuts. Um, so I'm gonna just kinda fix these a little bit. Um, again, it's not the end of the world if they're not all caps. Um, I just like things to stay consistent. And since the object, or since my caps lock, I should say, is usually always on, I just want it to be a little bit more consistent. It'll drive me and a lot of my friends nuts. So um, so I just kind of created a few extra layers here. I got one for object, one for dims, and one for text. Um, now, if you notice, there's one called def points. Um, I'm going to create a new one, and I'm going to call it viewport. Um, you really shouldn't be using def points for anything at all. Um, I'll be honest, I'm guilty of using it. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a viewport layer, and I'm going to tell it not to print. Meaning, whatever I put on this layer is not going to print, just like def points does. Um, if you notice, it's kind of half grade here. Uh, but this way here, I'm not using def points, and nothing really should be on layer to zero as well. All right, so I'm going to make viewport current here. And uh, at the top of my screen, I'm going to go to edit, uh, sorry, view, <laughs> viewports one, and I'm just going to put a viewport in. Now, um, I like to put a polygonal viewport in. And the reason being, is uh, I like to have the ability to later on, um, you know, move some grips around and add some things. So if you just want to put a perfect viewport in, that's fine. I'll show you that in a second. But I'm going to be using polygonal viewport, um, which, as you can see here, it's just it's asking me to click a few times here so that I can put in some additional vertices. 
Um, it's not the end of the world. Um, some people like to do it, some people don't. Um, but that's just the way kind of I like to do it. And if I click on it now, if you notice, I have different vertices, so I can kind of clip things out and clip things in if I want to. <clears throat> if you wanted to go the easy route, you can always just go to Viewports 1 and just go from one corner to the other corner. Um, same thing, just to different viewports. So, uh, also, I'm going to rename this layout here, and I'm just going to call it 24 by 36. And this way, it's not to be confused with the other one, and I'm going to delete out the other one as I don't have one. All right, so right now, what do we have? We have a title block, we have layers, we have a viewport, and we have our unit set up magically. That's pretty much all the main things we need for a template. Now, if you wanted to close out here, I wouldn't blame you. Now, and other things that you might want in your template are blocks. So you might be saying, well, Brandon, I don't want to see these blocks in my drawing. Well, you don't necessarily have to have them in your drawing, but you can always insert them into your drawing so, and then erase them out so you can use them later. Like if you notice, I have my logo and I have my title block here or because those are the only blocks in the drawing. Um, also note, um, you also want to make it so when you purge, it's a nice clean drawing, but you wouldn't want to purge now. Otherwise, you'd be getting rid of a lot of those standard layers we would want. Now, the only way to kind of stop that from happening is sometimes I'll put three little dots or four little dots, however many layers I have in there, so this way they cannot be purged out. Or what I do is I add those layers into this title block in very non-conspice non place, um, and it'll just kind of be in there. Sorry about that. I just had a brain fart, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so anyways... So you can kind of do some trickery um, because, again, if those layers are in this title block, they cannot be erased. So, you know, one might want to insert their legend if you use a legend with all that stuff on there. Um, so all your legends and stuff like that, this is the stuff you'll want in your templates. But for a very simple template, this is what we want to do right now. Um, so um, we're going to go to File, Save As now. Now, we're not going to save. If you did save, it's going to get you the same thing as File, Save As. It's not the end of the world. Um... But down here at the bottom, we're going to select DWT. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's what is going to make a template. So when we start a new drawing, we're going to want this template. Um, now, if you're using default AutoCAD, you can put it right in here if you want. Um, in fact, I will because I don't really care. So I'm going to put it right where the default AutoCAD templates are. Um, as you can see, I have my two Civil 3D ones here. And again, if you're, if you're not using Civil 3D, you're going to have different templates in here. So um, I'm going to hit Save here. And I usually don't give it a description or anything. And there we go. So now I have my AutoCAD template. So now, let's say I close out of this here. And of course, I'll save it. And I'm going to open up a brand new drawing here. So I'm going to go start a new drawing. Um, first things first is you know you're not in your template because, A, it's not down here. But when I go to File New, it'll say AIMCAD right here. And I can double click. And now I have a template set up. And it also has my units set correctly to two decimal places. Perfect. And it has my layers in it. Um, so, again, very simple. Now, the other thing um, that you need to know when you're using this template now, when I went to File New, is let's say we have something drawn in here. Um, so let's insert something real quick. And I'm going to kind of pause this video and find something to insert. <clears throat> All right, so I found a something to insert here. So I'm just going to bring this in. There we go. Perfect. So, again, I just kind of brought this in here. It's a little house project. Um, so now I'm going to go into here, and you'll see my viewport here. Now, if I double-click inside that viewport, this is how I'm going to get things to scale. So in model space, everything's drawn 100% to whatever it is. So if it's 5 feet, it's drawn at 5 feet. You're going to control the scale in your viewport. So if I double-click in my viewport here, here's where I'll set my scale. Now, this is an architectural drawing, so I'm going to set it to an architectural scale. Um, and yeah, there we go. So there's an eighth of an inch. That's just a quarter of an inch. There we go. And just kind of center it nicely on the sheet. And then you would double click, click on your viewport, and then you would lock that up. This way, when you accidentally click in here, you don't accidentally move it. So watch what happens when it's not locked. So again, click on it. I'm going to unlock it now. Now, if I double click in here, oh, you can move it and you can change, accidentally change that uh, scale. So we don't want that, so I'm going to kind of click on that scale, center it up, make sure this stays the same, lock it, and put it together. Now, if I click on here now, you can kind of see why one might use those little grips already in the template 
as you can easily move and kind of cut things out if you wanted to. It adds you adds a little bit more control for you. And that's really how you use the title block. You put North Arrow in it, fill out your title block, of course, and you're good to go. So again, that's all you would need to do um, to utilize this template and it would automatically give you your template, your units, your layers, and even if you had dimension styles in here, um, one thing we didn't go over was your dimension styles. So if you were to go into your template and add a whole bunch of standard dimension styles, those would also come with into your drawing. Um, I know we didn't go over it, but um, when we get into dimensioning and later on, we'll be creating our own styles and there'll be something we'll be adding to our templates. Again, this was a CAD Masterclass Week 3, and this is kind of making a title block, utilizing your uh, title block, and making a template, I should say. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you like to see more of these videos, and stay tuned. There'll be more for the Week 3 class, um, and then I'll kind of, kind of wrap up all the videos this Friday for Week 3, and then look forward to Week 4. So I'll see you guys later.